it's live. Okay, hi everyone. I hope you are well or as well as you possibly can be given the circumstances of existing. It's the girl, Jasmine. And this is my first time going live from this space. So I hope that the Wi-Fi is working. And I also hope that I make sense. Hope that I'm working because I just woke up from a nap. I'm a little jet lagged. So everything, hi, thank you for joining. So everything's a little bit all over the place, but I was having um, this beautiful journaling session with my friends this morning. And we were talking about how we had been sort of like, obviously, if you don't know, Mercury retrograde is no longer retrograde. We're in the shadow period, but it's now direct. So we were reflecting on kind of what the experience was for us um, in, in some ways. And also how we are now like organically and seamlessly moving into Saturn retrograde season. So I wanted to talk a little bit about how that could be showing up for all of us individually, especially because afterwards I got a beautiful newsletter from Oak Astrology, who was kind of like my astrological mentor. And I was like, yeah. There's a lot to unpack here. So I want to first say, if you got through Mercury retrograde, and by got through it, I mean, if you're alive right now, then you got through it. Um, congratulations. And I would really, really, really invite you, though, like I said, we are still in the shadow period, take some time to sit and reflect on what you learned during that Mer Mercury retrograde season. Um, thank you for joining. Hi, everyone. Um, because it is so, so, so imperative when it comes to how you are going to navigate this upcoming Saturn retrograde season. So Mercury retrograde, I have another video where I talked about where it was meant to sort of like affect you relative to your rising sign. So go back if you kind of want more insight on like, what should I, what areas of my life should I reflect on the changes or the lessons that I learned in. But overall, we were all affected. We were all impacted in the small ways, right? Miscommunications, but ultimately like the larger lessons in terms of like, what in our life needs restructuring and so sort of passing those tests really learning those lessons is now bleeding into saturn going retrograde which saturn if you don't know is the planet that rules structure and karma so there's a few things that i want to tap into the first thing i want to say it's giving like santa knows if you've been naughty or nice so because it is the planet of karma if you've been really doing your due diligence to like be the best version of yourself really committed to your self betterment committed to doing right by others and just committed to living a life of um of pure and clean well-intentioned karma you're gonna be getting rewards for that and if you are someone who's been on the sly who hasn't been dishing out the most um uplifting energy you're going to kind of get a dose of that back. And I'm not one to like fear monger. Um, but if you're watching my content and you're someone who's not feeding love and light, why are you watching my content? But also look out, I guess. But on the other hand, because Saturn rules um, structure and, and longevity, right? Our long-term lives, right? The longevity, what we see for ourselves in the future and really like the foundation of our lives is really going to get... Um, sort of a reassessment. But what's beautiful about it is that we get to use everything that we learned during our Mercury retrograde experience to inform how we restructure and sort of reintegrate ourselves into our lives. And what's so beautiful, thank you for joining, hi. What's so beautiful about that is that the structure of our lives not only is embedded in our belief system, right? So I'm going to talk a little bit about like what our beliefs are kind of getting called the call to action when it comes to our beliefs right now, but ultimately our lives are built by our jobs, the people in them, the things that we spend our time doing, our commitments, our habits, understanding that like, what if the, if my life is a house, you know, what are the bones of it? What are the people that color, you know, the walls? Like what are the things that build my life? And with the lessons that I learned from this Mercury retrograde, what does not honor that new truth, right? If you learn during this Mercury retrograde for me, I'm going to use me as an example because I'm open and I'm honest, but also I don't really know how else to navigate this. So Mercury Retrograde was in my seventh house of relationships. So I learned a lot about um, what I need in partnership, in all relationships, honestly, but ultimately in partnership. And so now that I really sat with those lessons, I'm really moving through this Saturn Retrograde understanding, A, which commitments and which relationships I had it. See, I was just talking about how our journaling like today was really like, yeah, anyway, it informed why I was like, I should talk about this. But yes, I now am moving into the Saturn retrograde really with the understanding of like, okay, I now know through my Mercury retrograde experience what I need relationally. And because of that, I'm going to use that be, or I'm going to allow that to be the bones of how I live out, um, or how I build the boundaries moving into the relationships that I have in my life moving forward. If that makes sense. Sorry, that was like a whole circle that I spoke. But basically, use the lessons that you learned during Mercury Retrograde to now inform how you structure your life and the boundaries that you build in your life, around your life, 
um, and for yourself ultimately. Understanding that like the structure of our lives are not only built by the relationships in them, but also like the habits that build our lives um, and our days and our, our, our minds. The things that we tell ourselves, you really wanna look at what did I learn and are the things that surround my life and surround my days, my energy, do they honor what I have learned? Um, it's also beautiful because Saturn invites us to reassess our relationship with patience. Saturn doesn't give you things just to give you things. Saturn really wants you to build endurance by understanding that what is worth having in your life is worth waiting for the best, most delicious, most ripe version of it. So if you are someone who needs, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? My brain is on, it's giving very much jet lag instant gratification, Saturn is gonna say, why would you want that beautiful relationship? Why would you want that career accomplishment? Why would you want that that new um, mindset, that new way of being? Why would you want that to be instantaneous? Because just as quickly as it will come, it will leave, right? It's more so about, have you been putting the work in? Are you willing to put the work in? Are you willing to s sow the tiny seeds that will eventually grow this beautiful large mangrove of deliciousness if you really commit to it and you show up to it every single day. So Saturn really wants you to look at what is the large longevity, the large long scale thing that you're looking at and are you willing to step to it step by step rather than like sort of grab it all in one night and then not even enjoy the deliciousness of it. Deliciousness of it, right? <laughs> struggling so much to speak right now. I hope that you guys are understanding what I'm saying. So yeah, Saturn is structure. structure. It's not only the foundation of our lives, but what makes our lives. So we want to reassess the relationships. Um, and also Saturn, because it rules structure, you also want to look at what is cluttering your life, not only on a physical level, though I feel like decluttering has been coming up a lot on all of the planetary transits that have been happening recently. But like decluttering if that is a call to action for you right now but ultimately just decluttering your relationships decluttering your habits decluttering what you are sort of expelling your energy to that isn't honoring um what we are now allowing our foundation to be right saturn is all about foundation so like are the roots that i am standing on are they nurtured are they well nourished or am i having too many like pots to water right now like how can i really make sure that my life is succinct that i'm expelling my energy to things that matter in a more um, simplified way. Once again, I hope that I'm making sense. Um, decluttering the things, people, thoughts, and habits that do not align with what you have learned this Mercury retrograde season. Um, reassess which boundaries should be stronger. And like I said, because this is a planet of karma, things that have been hidden usually come to light. It's giving very much eclipse. Um, but also, if you are someone who's been hiding something, um, it's gonna come to light, baby. It's giving very much karmic return. So if you've been really showing up for yourself, Saturn loves to reward. The thing that I love about Saturn, because people really demonize this planet, but like Saturn always rewards if you are one to honor work and discipline, right? And I'm someone who strongly advocates for the balance of productivity and play, but ultimately we need productivity in order to have that structure in our lives, which Saturn is all about. So if you've really been committed to your self-betterment and showing up in a tangible way, you're gonna get rewarded for that. And if you haven't, you're going to be invited to really um, sort of create that for yourself. How am I going? <laughs> how am I going to show up for what I have recently learned is imperative for my well-being, for my mental, social, emotional well-being, especially relative to once again what you have learned during that Mercury retrograde. So you want to take this pause, really assess what have I learned, and how is that going to inform not only that particular area of my life but all areas of my life. So once again using myself as an example, it was in, Mercury Retrograde was in my house of relationships, so I learned a lot about what it meant to um, feel worthy of what I desired and needed in relationship, but I'm also using that newfound sense of self-worth to inform the ways that I build boundaries in my friendships and the ways that I build boundaries in my career and like actually asking for what I need in those areas instead of just being like, it's fine, I don't have feelings anyway. Do you know what I mean? So really just taking the time to use what you have learned as a um a deeper root in your way of being <laughs> i feel like nothing i'm saying is like also um yeah like i said 
Saturn rules longevity, it rules long term. So you also want to use these these goals and these intentions and these habits that you're visiting and reassessing right now to inform the large scale picture of your life. So this isn't just like I want uh, to check off a box within these next two weeks, but ultimately like what kind of relationship do I want in the long run? What kind of career, what kind of lifestyle, what kind of peace do I want to cultivate for myself? And what are the small ways, um, the daily things that I can do to sort of honor and nourish that seed um yes and i saw this tweet and i thought this was beautiful so saturn retrograde summed up is taking responsibility decluttering it's accountability and patience really look at your relationship with patience um recounting past behaviors getting down to business in terms of like you know I always invite us to move fluidly, but you know in your life when you need to be more flexible and you know in your life when you need to show up with more um, discipline. So you want to look at where am I at? You know, do I need to really show up in a way that's more structured or have I been so structured that I haven't let myself breathe? And do I need to invite in more fluidity in order to feel healthy? So really looking at that, um, like I said, hidden things coming to light. What goes around comes around word to Justin Timberlake that's such a good song I was thinking about that the other day so she goes like at the end when there's like that little switch up you know when Timberland comes in oh what a bop um yeah sowing seeds for long-term goals and working walking towards better opportunities not running to the point where you're out of breath and you're burnt out by the time you get there you can't even enjoy it but rather really building it with love with commitment smelling the flowers on your way there and understanding that it is how you show up for yourself in the small ways that makes you enjoy the deliciousness of like the strength of what you are calling in for yourself whether it's a relationship or a, a personal goal or whatever it may be it will be so much stronger if you honor it with patience with longevity or, or rather honoring the fact that like It'll last longer if you give it more patience and you water it with um, slowness and intention rather than rushing to get it. Um, yeah, I mean, Saturn always rules karmic cycle. And Saturn retrograde is going to be until October 20... Oh, not the light going. Not the sun setting. Okay. Um, Saturn will be retrograde in the sign of Aquarius until October 23rd. So this is going to be a little moment, darling. Um, we are going to have more amplified energy because of the fact that uh, Mercury retrograde is over and um, yeah, we've got like some Aries energy with Jupiter and Aries. So there's going to be movement, but you want to allow that movement to be informed by, and this is something that Oak said in his um, uh, newsletter was you want that movement to be informed by how you're going to repair um, what you have realized is like a faulty part of your foundation during this Mercury retrograde season. So if you're like, okay, I realize that I haven't had boundaries when it comes to my romantic relationships or my familial relationships or um, my professional relationships. Like, yes, like there's going to be opportunities for you to like, there's going to be calls to action um, for you to really like put into work those boundaries. I hope that that makes sense. Post shadow week for two weeks. Yeah, we're in Mercury retrograde for like the energy is going to linger for two weeks. But like, and it's funny because we were having so many like technical difficulties today. And I was like, it's giving shadow period. Um, but we can celebrate the fact that and I think the shadow period is nice because it's going to kind of ease us into Saturn retrograde instead of like it being a sharp cut. So with that being said, I'm super excited about Mercury, about Saturn retrograde. And you should be too. Please do not let retrogrades be a thing to fear. Um, it's this reassessment that really is going to build um, a deeper sense of knowing with yourself, um, firmer structure um, that you can sort of like, yeah, that you can gift yourself. You want to make sure that the floor beneath you is sturdy so that you aren't um, just constantly flip-flopping through emotions and circumstances, but rather that you have a set home within yourself because you understand like, oh shit, not only have I learned so much about myself, but I'm also now going to take what I've learned about myself and use that to inform how I build and show up for my relationships, what I ask and require of my relationships and all of that jazz. So I hope that that makes sense. Once again, I'm a little, I'm a little jet lag, darling. I don't really know if I made a lot of sense, but um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else to say. I think just all in all, um, it's giving you a cycle. Thank you for your knowledge, thanks, because I feel like all I said was beep boop, beep boop for four hours. Um, yeah, it's always a new karmic cycle, so you really want to be excited that you get to write your story giving unwritten by Natasha Bedingfield. So yeah, look at the story that you're writing for yourself. Like get the ways you need to take accountability. You need to demand accountability. And ultimately, how can you now take the lessons that you've learned and use that to build a more beautiful version of your life? 
Beautiful. Awesome. I'm so glad it resonated. I will see you guys for the next uh, transit. And yeah, live, laugh, love. <laughs> Bye.